Want to see something cool? You've probably seen a flyball governor before, but this one comes with a twist. Get it? A flyball governor typically has a vertical shaft connected to a machine and a pair of pendulous weights that get flung outward proportionately to the speed of rotation. This is a rock simple system for sensing shaft speed to set steady states and obligatory accoutrement for anything steampunk. But here's an innovative way to get your balls in a twist. If you follow down the shaft, below the balls, this thing has a synchronous motor as the prime mover. The boss still can't figure out why I called this the taint drive, and I'm not telling him. Every one of these that I've ever seen was directly driven by mechanical means. Depending on the vintage, you'll see belt, shaft, and there's usually some manner of bevel gears involved. But this is radically different. It's elegantly brilliant in its clever design, and we need more of this kind of creative thinking in the world. The machine it's governing is a generator, so we're already working with a giant signal generator. By tapping off that with just a few little wires, it's possible to drive this tiny synchronous motor in perfect lockstep with the generator shaft. Rooting wires is way easier than figuring out mechanical linkages and gear ratios. It's also a million times more reliable. This particular system is used for automating the wickets on this exemplary antique generator. Just look at this machine. This is what happens when someone combines time, resources, and a passionate love of the job. This is beautiful. This is art. And this is pretty cool.